Welcome back to Why Can't You? And in today's episode, I'm going to look at why can't you be a little more like Nick Saban, the coach of the Alabama Crimson Tide. And you might not want to be like Nick, but you could certainly, if you're a coach or a leader, implement some of the processes that he puts in place that have made him so successful. Let's look at his childhood, and it's, uh, it's very reflective of who he is and why he is what he is today. His dad owned a car wash and he would make, obviously Nick worked there and he would make Nick wash the cars. The thing being that if one of the cars went through after Nick had worked on it and it had a spot or a blemish, Nick wouldn't just have to remove that spot or blemish, he would have to wash the whole car over again. So you can imagine that he had a great attention to detail and you can imagine that he really liked getting it right the first time. But let's look at some of the processes that he puts into place on a day-to-day -day or a weekly basis. One of those things is having measurable steps or manageable steps too. While the goal of Alabama might be to win the college football championship, how do you start that? How do you put that into place on a daily basis? Well, Nick does it with the basics: blocking, tackling, special teams, practice what happens during, you know, getting the, the punting team on and the proper amount of time. So it's the little things done right every time that lead up to the bigger things. Also, Nick is an a master at adapting and adjusting. And that's uh, very Tony Robbins. If you've ever heard Tony Robbins speak, Tony talks about taking massive action and then having the sensory acuity to know what's working and what isn't working so you can adjust your game plan as you go. And Nick's also very good at that, making halftime adjustments, seeing what another team's given them and saying, hey, we're not reacting the right way. We need to react this way going forward. So sensory acuity or adapting and adjusting. The other thing is that Nick is very consistent. He prepares for every game the same way. It doesn't matter if he's playing Kent State on the, the first game of the year or if he's playing Clemson in the national championship game. He's going to prepare the same way every time. And there's a lot to be said for consistency and having an even keel. And I think the players feed off that as well. And then he also focuses on execution and just being the best that his team can be. And that's very reflective of John Wooden, the coach of the UCLA Bruins, who led them to 11 national titles. And John would always talk about he, he didn't scout the other teams. He always said, if we play to the best of our ability, that's all I care about because we're going to go out and beat them. And while I believe Nick Saban does, does scout opponents and watch videotape on them, his philosophy is the same. Let's just concentrate on what we do, do it to the best of our ability, and the results will take care of themselves. So I'm David Bryson. This is Why Can't You? with four great takeaways from Nick Saban having measurable or manageable steps, being able to adapt and adjust on the fly, being consistent, and focusing on your own execution. If you're a leader and a coach, I don't think any of us could, could hurt from implementing those into our daily game plan. Why can't you? Please subscribe, and we will see you real soon.